8K today. Well, here we go, Tyler. We are going to see potentially record breaking temperatures for today. Upper 70s possible by this afternoon. The record high, 81 degrees set back in 2019. That was just two years ago. So we do see this heat at this time of year sometimes, just not all the time. 80 degrees, that's your forecasted high temperature for Longview. 80, again, set back in 2019 there. Lufkin, 81 degrees, that's your high temperature. 83 is the record set back in 1933. So it was a very warm day as well, just 88 years ago to this date. Temperatures right now are generally in the upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll continue to see this trend as these numbers rise. So will the temperature change numbers as well because we are trending about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than what we were yesterday. That's expected to continue in this afternoon. So it feels like September. If you're a fan of September, well, good news to you, right? Not so good news for the people that want to get into the holiday spirit via the weather. But hey, everybody can give this year. So we can get in the holiday spirit that way, right? Dew points in the middle to upper 60s right now across the board. So it is a humid one this morning and that trend will continue into the afternoon. So not only is it warm today, it's also going to be humid. It's also going to be cloudy and breezy as well. 70s through noon and three o'clock near record high temperatures expected by three. And you can see on Futurecast, we could see a little bit of drizzle, as I just mentioned, through the morning hours. But as we head into the afternoon, we should have enough low level mixing, meaning those winds are going to intensify as we go throughout the day, that it should mix out all the drizzle by this afternoon. So some good news there. But as we roll into 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a front's going to approach us from the northwest. Notice the reds and the blues right there. That means the front's not going to move very much, and it's probably going to move back off to the north by tomorrow night. But just in time for that, it could trigger a few showers and thunderstorms across our northern counties. By 10 o'clock, we're still seeing a few bubble ups along Interstate 30, but notice how the front has moved off to the north. That will set the stage for another warm day as we head into Friday with high temperatures well into the upper 70s. Rainfall totals through Saturday. It's going to be mainly a Saturday into early Sunday rain event, but look at this up to an inch and a half in Tyler, up to a half inch in Lufkin. So it does appear that we will see some widespread rain as we head into Saturday. No severe weather expected for Saturday at this time. That being said, a couple of those storms I mentioned on Thursday could be on the stronger side, but not a widespread severe weather outbreak. Just a thunderstorm or two could misbehave with stronger winds possible. As we head into your Saturday night and Sunday morning, that's when the rain will start to taper off. Those cooler temperatures will move in. We're in the 50s through next Tuesday. In deep East Texas, similar trend. We are going to see temperatures in the 80s today, 78 Thursday. We're back to 80 on Friday when that front retreats off to the north. Front comes crashing in Saturday. Rain chances increase, and then we do cool down Sunday into Monday. So kind of the calm before some of these storms here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, not a severe weather threat mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. tomorrow. I mean, a couple of those storms could be borderline severe, but not expecting any tornadoes, not expecting large hail, just not expecting a significant event. But a couple of those storms could be strong. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, that is when we do see the best chance of widespread rain. So if you have those weekend plans Saturday, I'd recommend having an alternate plan just in case you're mm -hmm. rained out.